Hi, I'm Peter Rose, founder along with Currency Trading. Why do I teach Forex courses? Why do I, why do I have a course that I sell? Good question. It's such a beautiful day. We're, uh, we're early June of 2023. First really hot day. Uh, it's up in the 90s today. We haven't been in the 90s yet. We've been in the 80s. But today's in the 90s. The sun is out. No rain coming. We're in New England where <laughs> the weather could change just like that. I'm going to go take Bo for a little walk in the woods. Come on with me and I'll tell you why I teach. All right, here we go. Bo, want to go for a walk? Let's go up. Uh, let's see, where should we go? Yeah, I see. Okay, that sounds good. <laughs> why do I teach? I've taught my whole life. I'm an educator. I've spent... Uh, over 50 years, well over 50 years teaching martial arts and karate and uh, I've taught, uh, you know, I was a, a, a software engineer for 33 years and I enjoyed sharing uh, those skills with other people. I had courses in, in teaching people object-oriented analysis and design and program design and analysis and all that kind of stuff and mentoring junior engineers. I've enjoyed doing that. Um, I was in real estate for over 40 years, as you know, if you've been listening to my channel. <laughs> and I've helped folks make real estate decisions. I, I never did anything formal. I mean, when I started investing in real estate, I got a, uh, a broker's license. Oh, I got a salesperson's license first, and then a broker's license. I never used those licenses. I just wanted to know what the guy on the other side of the, the desk from me, what they knew. And uh, I also got uh, first and second mortgage broker's license and a ranger of credit licenses um, because that's the financing part of real estate. I've studied real estate finance. I want to know what the guy on the other side of the fence knew about that. And so I've been able to share that information with people. It's very satisfying to be able to do that. And now that I'm doing currencies and I'm so passionate about it, I mean, look, I sold off all my real estate. Uh, well, I retired, I, I, I was retired and I still had property and I, I was getting into currencies uh, at that time. I, I started studying, looking at the currency market in 2007 and uh, actually was approaching it as an academic exercise uh, for quite a few years and I didn't really make a live trade until 2012. I was doing all this research and writing computer simulation analysis and stuff on the currency markets and I thought, this is really cool. And um, I could, let's, let's go and give this a shot. Let's trade, <laughs> let's do some trading. And saw what the power was. I wasn't very good at it when I started. In fact, I lost a lot of money. Um, but I saw the potential. And I said, uh, I don't wanna distract my attention anymore from uh, the, the, uh, that process of, of, of trading currencies with real estate ramifications and you know all the stuff that goes with that i didn't have a management company i did all that myself i wasn't I didn't have uh you know it's not a lot of work if you organize yourself to manage a few buildings but in any event i decided i i was retired i didn't want to mess with that stuff anymore and i had the currency trading that i could involve myself in to stay active and sharp and all the other stuff that I do, continuing to teach martial, and share martial arts. Um, sold off the real estate portfolio and I've been doing currencies ever since. I'm excited about it. I see what the potential is. I participated in that, in that potential. I'm trading a six-figure account. Um, I've made six figures trading. Um, and, and I make a, a decent percentage return on my money, far better um, than I would get if I was in even real estate and, and, and dealing with all that crap. I mean, I can pull the plug on a piece of uh, real estate in, oh, geez, mm, three months, maybe. And if the market is bad, it might take eight months. Um, you know, when I was selling about, well, the last building I sold, I think it took two months to sell it, something like that, a commercial piece of property. Um, where's my dog? Hey, Bo. If you see me out here walking before, I always have to call the bow dog. Hey, Bo! Bo! There he is.
You can see the barn in the distance. We have a family of foxes living underneath the barn. We're up on the mountains <laughs> in the lakes region of New Hampshire. But we get animals. <laughs> I chased a porcupine out of the yard yesterday. <laughs> oh my God. Anyway, Bo knows that there's a fox family down behind the barn. And so he, if you don't watch him, he'll, he'll go and he'll try to see what's going on down there. Get in trouble. Bo's just a little dog. You don't want to mess with the foxes. Currency market is a huge market. You don't want to mess with it unless you know what you're doing. And so when I learned what I was doing and became successful at trading, um, I thought, gee, why, why did I fail? What was the problem? And the, the problem that I failed to understand when I started watching these videos like you all are and, and, and listening to what these folks had to say, I thought it was like real estate. You know, when I was getting involved in real estate, well, I asked somebody, you know, how do you do this? And they tell me what to do and it works. Um, they, they don't have any ax to grind or anything. I, I don't know what's up with the, with the folks that are doing currencies, but um, I suspect uh, they're not bad people. There's some of them that are scammers, just like in real estate, they're scammers too. But I suspect that, that most of them, and I listen to all these videos, I listen to all those guys, and most of them are, are sincere, and they're, 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 they're probably made the money that they say that they made. You know, unfortunately, a lot of them made it on 200 to 1 leverage. And they got lucky. Because at 200 to 1 leverage, you're not going to make a lot of money. You're, you're, you're eventually going to lose it. Because you don't really understand the trading process. So, uh, look, if you're trading 20 lots and you're trading 50 or 60, I mean, I'm sorry, if you're trading $20,000 account, which is small money to come up with for trading, you're trading a $20,000 account at 200 to 1, you trade maybe 50 lots or 60 lots, that's five, $600 a pip. And so you do that, oh, six times and you've got a six-figure account. And then, uh, you know, you roll the dice again and... Uh, Boom, and then you're there. You've got a million dollars. And so now you come up with all these crazy rules, don't risk more than 2% of your account or a quarter percent of your account. And look at this ratio and watch what the Bullerger band does. And you know, they, they don't really know how they made their money. They don't really understand the, the, the trading process. Oh man, Boas wandered off again somewhere. The problem is that Sue's not here. She's out with a friend of hers. <laughs> she went to a Tai Chi class this morning with a friend. And she's uh, actually with my um, daughter-in-law and, and granddaughter, Ms. Resley. And they're having a picnic. And uh, I'm going to pause this for a second and get that dog back. Come on. Come on. Does that look like a repentant dog? No. God, he, that's exactly what he did. Went down the back of the barn. Oh, man. Come on, stay with me. Come on, come on, come on. It's such a beautiful day, I want to walk around the woods. He wants to go harass the foxes. <laughs> God. Leave the foxes alone, Bo. So, yeah, these guys, uh, they, they don't really understand how to trade. They, they, ha they developed, uh, maybe they lost a lot of money and they've been crushed up a lot and they figured it out. Um, most of them talk about how much money they lost. I lost a lot of money listening to them. I, and so of course we're gonna all lose money. The difference is, <laughs> I'm not sure they understand trading. <coughs> yeah, they can, they can use these indicators and stuff. That's why they hype them all the time, but you can't use indicators in, in, in the currency market. You use them in the stock market, maybe, and a lot of these guys that are coming in the currency market are coming in from the stock market. So they're trying to bring the tools from the stock market and apply them in the currency market. Doesn't work that way. Talk to any bank trader, they'll tell you. In any event, um, I listened to these guys, it cost me $40,000. I go, what the hell is going on here? I stepped back from it, 
and I looked at it as I would as a physicist. I have a bachelor's degree in physics. Again, the 33 years in, in software engineering, I know how to solve problems. I looked at this thing and in 15 minutes, I figured out what I had done wrong. And not only that, but I figured out what I needed to do right, took my remaining $5,000 and doubled that in four and a half months. And the solution set to that is simple. It's not easy to learn. You do have to work at it. And, you know, unfortunately, <laughs> if you want to learn something from somebody who really knows what they're doing, you're going to pay more, from, more for it than from somebody who is just showing you nuts and bolts. This is a, this is a pip. This is a, a Bollinger Band. This is how you adjust the um, RSI calculations and all this other stuff. And, well, here's an engulfing candle pattern with a pin bar, and that's how we're going to learn how to trade. Yeah, you know, if you paid $500 for that, you paid too much. You can get that same shit for $40 on Udemy. 16 video classes, 8 manuals, you're all set. Really? That's why it's 40 bucks? Yeah, that's what you get out of it, 40 bucks worth. Bo, stay with me, buddy. <laughs> In fact, all the stuff that you are seeing that you have to pay money in courses for, you can learn for free on baby pips. That doesn't mean that the information is bad. It simply means that the information, number one, there's too much of it. And number two, it's not presented as key elements so that you can tie these pieces together. That's my skill. I'm an expert at doing that. And so that's why I've chosen to, to teach and to mentor folks. And I'm not going to do it for a $500 course because that's what everybody else is doing. If, you, if you're too cheap to invest in your education, you probably don't go to college. Maybe you probably couldn't afford going to college or whatever. Um, but you understand that if you want to be a doctor, um, you're going to need eight years, 10 years of your life. To be a doctor. If you want to be an EMT, so you take a course, uh, EMT1, I think is uh, $1,200 right now, and all the work that he has to put into it, but it's not like going to college to be a doctor. But he's looking for a specific skill set for a specific job. And so you have to ask yourself, um, What's the, what, do you, what are you looking to accomplish from your trading? What, what do you want to get out of your trading? If you're looking to make 3000 bucks a year or $10,000 a year, then I'm not the guy that, well, I could help you do that, but why, why, pay, me that, why pay me that money? You don't need to. Take a Udemy course for forty nine ninety five, and 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 maybe you can figure it out. I want to work with people that are serious and want to do job replacement income. Because it's simple to do that. If you look at the mathematics, which is, I got a lot of math behind me, having a bachelor's degree in physics. You look at the math. If you don't understand math, you don't know it. I'm not teaching math. I'm teaching the application of what you should be able to do. Now, let's, that's called dry labbing. This is what you should be able to do. Well, now you work yourself backwards. And you say, well, how do I get there? And that's what I did when I lost all my money. I I, here's the goal. Now, what are the steps I need to do to get there? And it isn't studying Bollinger Bands. <laughs> it, just, it just isn't. He's not paying any attention to me at all. Bo, you're not making me look good here. Your fans are probably angry with you. And so the long and the short of all this is I teach, and it does cost more money than, than, than most folks because of the value that I'm offering through those services. I'm not looking to teach you how to make 10,000 bucks a year. I'm looking to show you skills, what I call principle-based learning in a uh, process-oriented manner. That's how my course progresses. Study foundations, principles, process-oriented trading, and then there's a 270-page uh, pages of, of uh, ancillary manuals that go with the consulting that deal with advanced solutions. 
I mean, there isn't any other way to present this stuff because that's the way that you need to present it. That's the depth of the material that you need to do. If you want to replace a fifty or $60,000 a year income, you're going to have to invest a lot of time and you're going to have to invest more money than $500 or a couple of thousand dollars in order to learn how to do that. Yeah, sure, I have some uh, less expensive solutions to give you a sense of the value of the training that I have, but that's not really why I'm training, uh, why I'm offering training. I don't want to run a training program. I mean, I had, I, I had a karate school for <laughs> 30 years doing teaching karate professionally. And I finally went, I said, I just, I don't want to do this anymore. I'll take six people that really want to learn and we'll just study and we'll really work on it. And so um, that's very satisfying for me. So it's the serious folks that I want to try to work with because if you try to do it on your own or you try to do it based on the way that everybody else is teaching you how to do this stuff, I don't know, you may be able to do it, but why take that risk? And I don't charge people for, for uh, emailing me and talking with them. It's to my benefit if I don't have to sell you a course. <laughs> my time is more valuable than that. I've said that in the last couple of videos that I've done here in that, um, you know, I only want to work really with a with a few people a year maybe or a half a dozen I mean if people are all scrambling uh, for uh, for training we certainly try to work something out because I want to I want to work with as many people as need that and are willing to work most people aren't willing to do the work and so I'm filtering those folks out just in the preliminary interview that I have with with students there's a lot of people who send me emails yeah, will you be my mentor? Will you do this? I send them an email back. I write them and try to figure out what's going on. Never I can hear back from them. <laughs> Are you, they're just an, an abundance of stupid people out there. I don't want to surround myself with stupid, ignorant, disrespectful people. If that's you, don't worry about it. Uh, don't watch my channel. But if you really have a sincere desire to learn this stuff in the simplest manner possible, because of my educational background, and you're willing to invest your time and some money to do that, send me an email that specifically says, hey, I saw this video, and I might be interested in talking to you about what, what you're doing, because I see all this stuff out there, and I'm doing what they're telling me to do, but I can't make it work. Why can't I make it work? I'll, I'll tell you the secret to that. It's because the tools that you're being shown how to do something aren't the appropriate tools for solving the problem. Nor is the order of the presentation and utilization of those tools correct. Those are two critical issues in any educational process, right? Anyway, uh, I've had a couple of people, <laughs> a few people recently, uh, one of them fairly rude about it, um, wondering why if I was making so much money I'm charging all money for coursework you know maybe I'm not making any money from trading and I'm getting money from my courses yeah you can make a lot of money from from teaching if you do it right even if you do it wrong look if you sell a $500 course and you sell a, a thousand of them yeah, that's a lot of money because the stuff that I offer works it's worked for me and I'm 74 years old and I'm not going to do stuff that doesn't work for me or that isn't a lot of fun for me or that doesn't enrich my life. I don't want to sit at the trading desk for five hours a day. I want to be able to sit down, identify if there's a trade there. If there isn't, I'm going to go have a cup of coffee. If there is a trade there, I want to be able to wrap it up and get done with it so I can get on with my day. Like I am right now, walking around, talking to you guys and not, not needing to trade. So, see, there he is. He's... He's looking for the foxes. Are you looking for currency education? Think about it. Doesn't have to be with me, but think about 
what the proper process for learning this stuff is so that you don't get uh, you don't get faded okay all right it's significantly hot I'm gonna go inside now so Peter Rose Longwood currency trading have a great day and have a great trading day